Ooh, I'm still out of breath from taking that foundation bolt out of the concrete that I wasn't going to use. And if you didn't see how I watched how I did that, you got to watch that other video. I, I beat that out of there using just my hammer and it went below the concrete and everything. Whew. This is like a, I think it might be a 9 nine sixteenths foundation bolt. Look how fat that is. I beat that out with a hammer. Yes, you can do it also with a uh, mini sledgehammer or a big sledgehammer. But that's not what this video is about. This video, I've got another foundation bolt just like this one down in this area. This is my walk area underneath the house and I wanted to make it a little bit safer. I've got another foundation bolt right here. Apparently when they, when they poured the concrete, uh, the flunky, whoever put in all the foundation bolts, he put two down there and everything dried and the other guy says, hey, no, we're not gonna put a, we're not gonna put a uh, piece of mud seal down there and bolt it down to the floor and build this area up right here. We're not gonna do that because we've gotta gain an access and the inspector won't let us do that. You've gotta gain accesses into all your areas underneath the house, okay? So when I was beating out that other one, I was thinking I was gonna beat this one out and I thought, no, I'll show you a different way to do that and that's what this video is about. I've got my, my battery operated sawzall and I gotta get it. And this is just a little, this is a Ryobi. It's not a, uh, it's not a heavy duty sawzall by any means, okay? And uh, I've been charging my battery up over here. And uh, if I was, if I was needing to do some sawzall work for, uh, you know, quite a while underneath the house or something, I'd use a uh, extension cord one with the with the plug on it. This one just is very lightweight. You can get some other battery operated ones that are a lot heavier duty than this but I got this in a whole a whole kit it came with this and it came with a little mini uh, uh, oscillating uh, saw like a skill saw and it came with uh, two batteries a battery charger a flashlight a bag and all that kind of stuff and I thought hey fine I'll use this every once in a while and I'm gonna use a, uh, um, a metal cutting bit blade like this and, and I usually carry something like this and this one just happens to be from Milwaukee Milwaukee right there Milwaukee does lots of good tools and stuff and uh, it gave me an assortment of different ones wood ones uh, bigger ones for uh, plywood smaller ones for if you want to make a finer cut and, and it had some different uh, uh, metal cutting ones and I've, I've got a metal cutting one here and one here and uh, I thought you know I'll try to take the one that's the dullest and see if I can't use that first before I use my sharp ones I always like to save my sharp ones um, and so I just get that in it's as quick as that there's a quick release on the side pull it out and you can flip this either way you know in case you want to run the saws all this way or in case you want to run it this way and I think I'm going to do it this way and uh, years ago they had some saws all you couldn't run it upside down like that and cut it flat you can only cut it this way and I'm like what's the deal with that and then I found uh, a few years went by and then the, it, then it could flip either way but then you'd have to get in there with the little allen wrench and do all this now they got the, the side release that is so Sweet, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do this so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay out of your way the best I can. And I don't know if I can get the saw down flat enough. I think I, I, think I can. It's gonna be kind of tricky. Uh, you know, right here, I would generally go sideways, but, uh, you know, whichever way I'm working here, this would be the easiest way for me to do it, but, but, uh, then I would have to beat it back and forth this way and I don't have enough room. So I don't know how well this is going to go. I, sh I, uh, wished I had a metal cutting blade that was longer than this. Uh, 
Most times they have them six inches, but you might want to get a nine inch or a 12 inch if they have them. If they have them, I've, I've only, I've only seen them. I've only used like six inch ones. And I'm gonna, I want to get down as low as I can here. Let's see here. blade going let's see let's see if, if this will stay on the whole time I don't know if it will no some of them you could have it to where you can turn it on the whole time but uh, not this one so I'm gonna have to keep my finger on the trigger When you have a small blade, see, I want to try to get down there as flat as I can, but the middle of the blade starts getting dull, then it's harder to cut. I still have, this blade is still good on the on the front side, you know, the side closest to here, but I can't get it, I can't get it all the way. There, so I'm going to try just a little bit more, and I don't need to get it too far. I'm just trying to score it. I'm not trying to cut the whole bolt off. I'm just trying to get it far enough where it'll help me bend it when I use my hammer. Okay. I'm gonna try that. I've only got it cut about a quarter of the way. Now, let's see what I can do with my hammer. Look at that. I only had it, I only had it cut a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Just that much right there from there over okay that's the only little bit I had cut I've got maybe maybe uh, you know less than a third quarter you saw that I hardly had to do anything to whack that off Wow that's pretty good oh now I'm just going to kind of hit the top of it. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. Whew. That's pretty much flat. You got to, that's why I try to get it down there as, as low as I could. Because the last thing I want is to cut that an eighth of an inch or quarter inch uh, high. And then have that be a tripping hazard. Ooh. Oh. Okay, that's how you can cut off foundation bolts. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. <laughs> yes, of course I brought my knee pad too. I keep swearing I'm going to throw this thing away, but it's still, it's still going and uh, it works out perfectly down here when I'm kneeling down and stuff and you know what I brought my cell phone down here too and I didn't bring a charger but if I had if if I needed my charger I would have brought it down here if I was going to be down here most of the morning most of the afternoon or something if my cell phone started getting low because I like to play music I could play music when it gets low I could charge up my phone 
down here all, all kinds of good reasons why to have an electrical outlet down in your down in your uh, your crawl area underneath your house of course I got my gloves on brand new spanking new gloves I got my earplugs in I got my my back support on underneath my my nail bag okay I got my knee brace on I got my I even got my 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 glasses on my protective eyewear do that and I got uh, earplugs and if you don't have any earplugs take your toilet paper and put them in put it in your ears works out good and uh, you know of course I got my my throwaway paint brushes this this one here you remember if you've been watching all my different videos I, I've been using this forever it used to look like that now it's like this and I was gonna throw it away and I thought nothing doing I could probably use that for something and I'm still using it and I'm getting I'm getting ready to continue my project.